time today we're going to be working on a Pilates sequence to focus on the gluteal muscles. So we're going to start out over in a nice squared off table. So roll over onto hands and knees. Make sure that you start out with everything lined up. We want wrists, elbows, shoulders, and then the knees right underneath the hip joint. Now from here, draw that belly button in. Make sure that the core is activated, so the abdominal muscles and then also the back muscles. We're going to start out on the right side, taking that knee and circling it to the front. So making that circle as wide as you can. That's three, four, keeping that belly pulled in. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So keep the breath going the whole time. We're going to switch that and reverse it. Three, four, five. And making sure that you're keeping the rest of the body as still as you can. You don't want anything else to be wiggling around while you're moving that leg. Okay, relax that knee down. Now we're going to go straight open to the side and down. Keeping the focus on those outer thigh muscles, the outer gluteal muscles. And then, of course, working with the breath. So on your inhale, open up. Exhale, relax down. Let's do two more like that. Okay, so now getting a little bit harder. We're going to use our inhale. Lift that knee up to the side and then straighten the knee. Bend the knee, drop it down. Extend. Bend and down. So that's three. You're going to do two more like that. Inhale, extend, bend, and relax down. So now this time, we'll lift that knee up, straighten the foot out, tap that big toe down onto the mat, circle it back as far as you can go, draw it out to the side, bend the knee, relax down. So that's our first one. Four more like that. Inhale, extend, tap the toes, sweep it back. Out to the side, bend the knee down. Two. Sweep back. So squeeze that inner thigh as you sweep back. And then the outer thigh as you come out to the side. Bend that knee, release down. Two more like that. And then last one. Keep that form even though you're getting tired. All right, take a little breath here. Now, our next one, we're going to take that leg up with the knee, send it out, and then little taps with the toe. So just in case you weren't feeling it, you should really be feeling those muscles on the side of the thigh. All right, nice deep breath. Now, for the next one, we're gonna send the leg back. If your hands are getting tired, feel free to drop down onto the forearms. Give those wrists a little bit of a rest. We're gonna take a circle in for 10. Keep that circle nice and tight, abs are drawing in, and then switch out for 10. One more time like that, aim for 10. Trying to keep the hips still, no wiggling in the lower body. And then out for 10. Now we're going to tap the big toe onto the floor and then lift that leg up as high as you can. That's three, four, Squeeze in the glute every time you come up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So now, we're going to make that a little bit harder. Again, we're going to bend the knee, press the heel up to the ceiling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 
All right, now before we switch over to the other side, we want to stretch out that hip. So we're going to draw the shin to the front of the mat, come into our pigeon stretch from yoga. Walk back through the left leg, keep that side long. On your exhale, walk out over the leg. Nice deep breaths. On your exhale, think about sinking your weight into the outside of that hip. Okay, walk up with the hands. Make your way back up to sitting. We're going to draw the left leg up and then we'll switch over to the other side. So the same thing, nice and squared off in your table. We'll take an inhale and circle that knee front for 10. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, drop down, just rest for one second, and then we're going back for 10. And then rest. Next one's that fire hydrant one. So you inhale the knee out, exhale, release it down. Try to keep the hips square to the floor while you do that one. There's going to be a tendency that you're going to want to open up. Try and keep those hips level. Okay, rest the leg down for a second. So moving on, getting a little bit harder on this side. We'll take our inhale, lift up, send the leg out, bend the knee, release it down. That's one, two, Three, four, so just one more like that. That's five, good. So next one, we're gonna add that little sweep. Tap the toe, sweep it all the way back. When you come back, cross as far as you can. On your inhale, lift that leg up, send it out. Tap the toe down, sweep it all the way back, squeeze the inner thigh, open it out, and then bend it back in. Two, three, four, and five. Take a little deep breath. And then really honing in on the outer thigh. Open the knee, lengthen the leg out, ten taps. So now, if those arms are getting tired, feel free to drop down onto the forearms, give the hands a little rest, and then we're going to take the left leg straight back. So first one, we circle in for 10, nice and tight. And then reverse that circle out for 10. One more like that, in for 10. for 10. And then release that leg down. Now, legs straight back. We're going to lift and lower 10 times, squeezing the glute every time you lift up. Then our next one, keep the knee bent, pulse the heel up for 10. And that's 10. All right, so now we need to stretch out the left side. We're gonna draw that left shin up toward the top of the mat, send the right leg back, and sit down into our pigeon. Nice deep breaths, focusing on that outer hip. All 
You need to inhale to walk yourself back up. Roll off to the side. Okay, we're gonna add one more little move to the end to make sure that we really got into those muscles well. So start out sitting in mermaid pose. You're gonna have the left sole of the foot resting on top of the right thigh and that right knee bent back. So now angle yourself over the top of the left knee. Put the hands on either side of the left knee. We'll use an inhale. Lift up through the right leg and exhale, drop it down. So small little movement, but it's really focused right here. So that's five, we'll do five more. And that's 10. Now we're gonna make that a little bit harder. So we're gonna do the same lift, but then once the leg is up, we're going to extend out through the knee. So make sure that you're really angled over that left knee. Take an inhale, right leg comes up, straighten that knee out, bend it back, lower it down. workout. 